What's up, y'all? This is Ron. Back at you with, wow, this ain't a couch or a car, a bookcase video. Yeah. Game is simply knowledge. See, you know something? A lot of people get caught up in the word game. Like, I ain't gaming. It's all wrong. You know, it's misdirection. It's lying. It's manipulation. Well, yeah, it is. But it's also being straight up, being straight to the point, you know? And it really even goes beyond getting women, right? It goes beyond even getting women, you know, because it's the game of life. You know, I was inspired to do this, even talk about this, because I saw a video. It was uh, Shannon Sharp and uh, Marshawn Lynch, you know, and he was... Marshawn Lynch was talking about how he was giving like some younger players game on how they spent their money. See, around the way, giving somebody some game, you just giving them some knowledge. You telling them how to navigate, you know. But some people get caught up in the semantics of it, or they just focus on one aspect of it. But game is really just knowledge, knowledge of how to navigate life. You know, don't get caught up in the semantics of it. Just get caught up in the actual overall meaning. What is your strategy for getting through life? Or what is your knowledge? Or having that knowledge, how are you going to act on that knowledge? Because there's always a game. You know, there's always a game. Always a game being run on you or someone's trying to run it on you. Or in a way, you're trying to run a game on somebody else, even if you don't call that a game. If you try, if you like, if you go into a vendor and you're trying to buy some stuff from them, you might try to run some. say, well, what can I get for a deal for this? You know, or what can I do? Or, you know, you done saw something in a grocery store and you just say, well, hold up. Shouldn't, or, you know, a different price. You would be like, yeah, I should, yeah, shouldn't it be that price? Or y'all said this in the paper uh, and everything. But you know what? When people come to this channel, they're talking about relationships, right? Let me just stick there for a bit, just a bit. But you know how I flow. See, think about something, right? What is, what is the game in relationships? It's knowledge on how, on what you can do to get what you want. Now, if you have knowledge of yourself, you're like, okay, well, I practice body game or I got a mouthpiece or I have knowledge. If I say this to a woman, these are the odds she's going to respond to me in a certain way. That's game. You might not call it that, but that's still game. Like if you know, all right, you're a professional, you know, and some people call you handsome or, you know, if you get a you fix your hair up or you wear your clothes in a certain way. Or if, you know, even though uh, I'm against like leading with your wallet, some dudes do. But you know what? Maybe they got some results, even though I can always argue I get better results. Well, that's game. That's your game. You know, if you read in a woman, that's definite game because that's knowledge. If you know if a woman is uh, looking at you, smiling. And you notice through her blouse or whatever she has on that her nipples are getting hard. Okay, you know you're arousing her. And then with that knowledge, with that game, you know, okay, she's getting aroused by me. What do I do now? Well, that's game. Because if I know, if I see a woman and she smile a certain amount of time or she look at me for a certain period, having that knowledge, I know, okay, I can move forward. She's interested. I can get her at my leisure. You know what I mean? I want y'all to think about that. Because everything is about the knowledge. Everything, because going through life, you have to have knowledge. See, they the saying is knowledge is power, but it should more correctly be applied knowledge is power. So if you know, like just with women, because I know, you know, when I talk like this on my Deep Thought channel, not as many people watch. A link is in the description box for that channel, though, or my money channel. Well, you know what? Let me use that for an example, you know, because I was going to talk about how people focus on, you know, 
game just for getting women, but it's for getting through life, period. But let me give an example first of game outside of man gets woman or woman uses their game to get man. Money. Money. I have a money channel too. Now, being where I'm sitting, being in a position where I control the cash flow into my coffers, that's game. Because if I know, okay, if I do videos talking about this or write books on something, that's game. Think about it. It goes beyond it. And indeed, right now, even though I don't talk about politics, because, oh, that's a game on another level. Now, there was just a situation where that, uh, that gentleman, I forgot his exact name to pronounce it, so I won't disrespect him by mispronouncing it, but he was supposed to be uh, the nominee for Speaker of the House of Representatives. But he fell back. He fell back. He withdrew his uh, name from consideration. That's game, though. Because there's stuff going on there that people aren't understanding. There's a lot of game in politics. Everything done, by the time something becomes a law, written into law, there was a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. That's game. You know? Or if you in corporate America, there's a lot of game there because you have office politics. Or corporate America retail. I've worked in both. You know, worked in the government. There's always some game there going back because it's like the game is, okay, who can you have an ally? What knowledge do you know? What are you bringing? What are you uh, doing to cement your position? But that's game because then that comes down to knowledge. What moves you going to make? If you play in chess, you're a chess master or at least can win consistently if you know what general moves to make because you have not only knowledge of your own skills, but you have knowledge of uh, the game itself. And indeed, you might have knowledge of your, of your opponent. As the legendary philosopher Sun Tzu said, if you know yourself and you know your enemy, you need not fear the results of 100 battles. Now, the thing is, people don't understand it. A lot of people don't get that about the knowledge. Indeed, someone will watch this, and I can guarantee some people, you will have some people will say, okay, What's Ron planning? He's doing something. He's doing something a certain way. Indeed, somebody, well, I'm not going to point out something. I'm going to see who said something in the uh, comments about something, some very particular idea for this particular video. Now, there's an obvious thing, but then there's a subtle thing. And I'll see who, and if they say something, I'll just, you know what, I'll heart everything. How about that? I do anyway. But then again, that's game. Because when people feel engaged, then they want to come back. <laughs> I want y'all to think about that. I want y'all to think about that. What's going on? You know, but all of that is game. All of that is knowledge. You have knowledge of something. You have knowledge of people. You apply it. Let me bring it back to man gets woman because let's be real. A lot of guys come here for that. And indeed, even when you get some comments, say, well, can't you talk about something else? Well, I have two other channels where I talk about money and I talk about philosophical matters and indeed even welcome dissenting opinions as long as they show that there's some thought. But then the game of someone else who will come here and try to complain, that's their game to try to be contrary. <laughs> oh, man. And I know, of course, you know, I say to some people, they'll see what's up. Some people will say, oh, he's just joking around and stuff. But then they don't have the knowledge to understand why something is done. And then their only knowledge is limited to their perception of what's going on right in front of them. Hmm. And I know somebody still say, hmm, why is Ron doing it differently this way? He got his glasses on. That my usual car uh progressive glasses either. These are my more stylish ones. You know? Yeah, I got my Italian twine on too. <laughs> but what's going on? But it still comes down to game. Now, once again, I say it several times, oh, game, man gets one. Because, of course, I know a lot of guys, they want to focus on that. Okay, here's the thing with that. If you have knowledge of yourself, if you're talking about game, first you have to have knowledge of yourself. What are your strong points? What are your weak points? What is it about you that attracts women to you? 
Now, I'm known for talking about body game. Indeed, there was a comment that said, hey, you always talk about body game. Well, let's think about that from several game standpoints. One, that's what's worked for me personally the best. The thing I always got the most compliments on was my body build, regardless of where it was. Okay, boom, that worked for me. You know, as far as, you know, uh, facial features, some women said handsome, some women like, eh, you know. Other women have added to that. It's like, oh, I like how you talk. I like what you think about. Okay, so my game, okay, get the body right, you know, get a certain style right, but then also know how to talk. That's my game. That's my game. And then, you know, since I have knowledge of many subjects, I can have a conversation on anything, or even if it's a subject that I have no idea about, I know how to ask questions. Oh, from knowledge, from experience being an investigator and also a brief period as an investigative reporter. Hmm. Wow. You know, but that's knowledge of myself. But then also talk about the tribe. That's knowledge of the type of women who will be responsive to you. That's game in itself. Even if you could just read a woman. I want you to think about that. If you know a certain type of woman or a certain type of body build, certain racial background, certain religion is most receptive to you. And then your game could be, OK, they are most receptive to what I'm presenting. So when you do that, it's like, oh, OK, this is what I present. These are the women responsive. So instead of your game is instead of just chasing women willy nilly, you sit back and chill and say she will be responsive. Incidentally, which is a game pimps use. They actually know which women will choose them, who will respond to them. They can go in a room full of women and ignore 99 percent of them and focus on the one who will be receptive to what they are got to say and who they are. I want you to think about that. See, you got a bunch of guys out here like uh, when I talk about, uh, you know, women choosing or pay attention to the women who want you. Then guys will automatically say, well, nobody wants me and everything. OK, well, do you have knowledge of yourself in order to maximize what you do have? No, you don't look like a mythical Chad, which is very few of them. And then understanding, like, well, some guys who don't look like that did something, so what did they do? But then you still focus on yourself, your knowledge yourself. Okay, this is what I got. All right, which women respond to this? Okay, let me go and situ put myself in situations, in environments, because I have knowledge of the overall environment on which women uh, they can meet. I want you to think about that. Yeah, and I know somebody's still saying, oh, what are you talking about? But part of game that I could be running right now is to see the uh, cognitive, cognitive abilities of the people who uh, generally follow and generally who comment. Indeed, even someone who would do so as a detractor, why would they do it? But they, that one of the knowledge I have is they will say something to feel empowered and then feel even less empowered once I delete the comment. Hmm. But then all of this that I'm doing right now, okay, why, why am I doing it? Hmm. Is it for to see how deep somebody is? Or just to present something different? And then there's still that uh, one thing I said I wasn't going to mention, but I will try to, I will be definitely paying attention to see who peeps what I've said. Hmm. It's amazing, ain't it? But to back to the subject of matter that started this entire video, game is simply knowledge. And it could be in any field. It can be in a financial field. Anybody who works in the financial markets, they can tell you, oh, there's still game there. Because is part of game is navigating relationships. So when you're talking about finances, there's still a business relationship. You're still interacting with people. Politics. Trust me, that's nothing but relationships, master in the art of politics, knowing how people are going to make deals. See, a really good politician, oh, they know how to get what they want because they know the art of the deal. They have the knowledge. Part of that knowledge is the situation. Part of it is the people that they have to deal with. Even if to the surface, they look like they're on different teams. 
because I'll give this much for politics. There's a, a lot of a illu illusion. There's a lot of illusion. Publicly, you can have a Democrat on the far uh, left and a Republican on the far right. Publicly, they look like they're on, they're on different teams. But when you start digging and you have knowledge and you know where to look, you find they're on the same team but just different wings. And even then, there's a puppet master behind them. Mm. And is it nefarious or is it just some billionaire who wants to make more money? Hmm. Just think about that, yo. Just think about that. <laughs> you know? And, it, you know, it would be interesting, somebody using a knowledgeable game to see, oh, why is he presenting stuff like this? And what's he doing with that cigar? I didn't know Uncle Mom spoke. I don't. But part of the game is being aware of the image that you present at certain times. That's game too. Now, let me talk about that image. I'll give you some game. When you see me, you know, on my couch or something, yeah, just a regular guy in his home. You see me in the car, I could be anyone. In fact, I've seen comments that say, oh, he coming from work, or he's this or that, or he's a blue collar guy. Okay. But then if I present this and I presented this on a regular basis, and instead of talking like this with a certain rhythm, I talk more uh, academic and everything. I talk more like I'm presenting, like I'm defending a, a doctoral dissertation. Okay, but then that gives you another perception. But then that's game to control how others perceive you. Hmm. This is a lot to think about. But let's take all everything I said and still break things down to as common denominator, is most basic level because sometimes things ain't that damn deep, y'all. Game is just knowledge, okay? <laughs> you know, if I tell you how to make uh, six figures in income, that's just knowledge. That's, that's just knowledge. If a millionaire tells you how to make a million dollars or how he or she made a million dollars, that's just knowledge. Or if someone knows how to um, use the legal system to their advantage, which they can learn through getting a juris doctor from a, an accredited law school. Well, that's just knowledge. Everything is knowledge. Knowledge applied is power. Hmm. Something for y'all to think about on this Friday the 13th, which in, incidentally, some people say, oh, it's the 13th is a day of bad luck, but someone else with some other knowledge say 13 is a number of transformation. You know, you know, just as with the master Yeshua, otherwise known as Jesus, he was one person plus with 12 disciples, 12 plus one, 13. Yeah, I know, I, I hit y'all with something. <laughs> yes, so, as I like to say with a crew I used to roll with on social media years ago, for those who overstand, no explanation is necessary. For those who don't, none is possible. And it would be interesting because some people will just see this as a big laugh. Some people will see this as, huh, what's he talking about? And some people will see it as a signal. You know, as an old saying, you know, there's three types of people in the world. Those who see everything that happened, you know, know everything that happened. Those who, you know, see something happening but they don't know. And then some, those who say, what happened, just period. They don't know anything. So anyway, though, I want y'all to really think about just game. It's knowledge, you know, and it depends on how you apply it. Yes, it's, it can be misdirection. It can be deceit, but then you have to have knowledge in order to how to make that work. Or it could be straightforward. Because you realize you have knowledge to know when you are straight up with it. It actually works to your advantage. Or in the environment you're in, the situation you're in. And then you understand who you're dealing with. But that's game. Game is knowledge. Yeah, y'all. Anyway, y'all. I'm about to get off of here. Everything. Yeah. The working out I'll be doing today is cleaning up this big ass place. <laughs> got to, you know, I got to do my cleaning and everything. So anyway, though, 
Oh, and for those who know, yeah, Sebek had me. Now I know some people be like, Sebek, what they got to do with anything? <laughs> anyway, y'all, y'all have a great day today. Peace and many blessings. <laughs> <laughs>